A mind for numbers. How to excel at math and science, even if you flunked algebra, is a book written by Barbara Oakley, a professor of engineering who struggled with math and science herself before discovering effective learning strategies. This book is important and relevant to anyone who wants to improve their performance in these subjects, whether they are students, professionals, or simply curious learners. In this presentation, we will explore some of the key themes and insights from A Mind for Numbers, including why math and science are often perceived as difficult, the importance of developing good learning habits, the power of practice, and the role of failure in learning. By the end of this presentation, you will have a better understanding of how to excel at math and science, regardless of your prior experience or background. Math and science are often perceived as difficult subjects, and many people believe that only certain individuals are capable of excelling in these areas. However, this perception is largely a myth. In reality, anyone can learn math and science with the right approach and mindset. One reason why math and science are often seen as hard is that they require a different way of thinking than other subjects. These fields rely heavily on logic and problem-solving skills, which can be challenging for some people. Additionally, math and science often build upon each other, meaning that if you miss a fundamental concept, it can be difficult to catch up. However, with persistence and the right strategies, anyone can overcome these challenges and succeed in math and science. One of the key themes of a mind for numbers is the importance of developing good learning habits and strategies. This is especially true when it comes to math and science, which often require more focused and deliberate practice than other subjects. Some effective learning strategies that are discussed in the book include breaking down complex problems into smaller parts, using analogies to connect new concepts to familiar ones, and practicing active recall by testing yourself on what you've learned. By developing these types of habits and strategies, you can become a more efficient and effective learner, not just in math and science, but in all areas of life. Practice is essential for mastering any skill, and this is especially true for math and science. In order to truly understand and apply new concepts, you need to practice them repeatedly until they become second nature. Some effective practice strategies that are discussed in the book include spaced repetition, where you review material at increasing intervals over time, and interleaving, where you mix up different types of problems or concepts to better retain information. By incorporating these types of strategies into your practice routine, you can make the most of your study time and improve your performance in math and science. Failure is often seen as a negative thing, but when it comes to learning, it can be a powerful tool for growth and improvement. In fact, many successful people attribute their success to their ability to learn from failure and use it as motivation to keep pushing forward. Some effective ways to use failure as a tool for learning include analyzing your mistakes to identify areas for improvement, seeking feedback from others to gain different perspectives, and reframing failure as a natural part of the learning process rather than a personal flaw. By embracing failure and using it as a tool for growth, you can become a more resilient and successful learner in math and science, as well as in other areas of life. In conclusion, A Mind for Numbers offers valuable insights and strategies for excelling at math and science, regardless of your prior experience or background. By understanding the myths surrounding these subjects, developing good learning habits and strategies, practicing effectively, and embracing failure as a tool for growth, you can become a more successful and confident learner. We hope that this presentation has provided you with some useful tips and inspiration for improving your performance in math and science, and that you feel empowered to take on these subjects with confidence and enthusiasm. Remember, anyone can learn math and science with the right mindset and approach. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.